In this video, we're taking a look at these, the Adidas Adi Zero Super Light. What is up, everybody, and welcome to Adidas HQ here in Broxbourne in Hertfordshire. How are you doing? Let me know in the comments and why you're down there. Tell me, are you a fan of Adidas running shoes? Now, for me, in 2022, one of the brands that came back into my life was Adidas, and that came in through the Adidas Adi Zero Adios Pro 3, which I need to change the name, and then the Prime X Strung as well. Two shoes from Adidas that came back into my life, because I've never been a big fan of Adidas. I've never found a, a shoe that's worked for me over the years, and obviously they ruined the Ultra Boost, um, especially with version 22. So I was very excited when Start Fitness sent me these. Right, so for full transparency, these were sent to me by Start Fitness over here in the UK, startfitness.co.uk. They're one of the leading uh, UK retailers here in the UK. Um, you can go online, they've got a massive flagship store up in Newcastle as well. And the guys were kind enough to send me these for review. I'm not getting paid to make this review. The only thing that I'm getting compensated for is the fact that the shoes were sent to me free of charge. Okay, with that out of the way, uh, let's dive into the stats and features first. Okay, so Adidas Adi Zero, uh, this is part of the Adi Zero line, so their sort of racing line, we'll come on to that in just a second, but SL means super light. We've got a 10 mil drop in the shoe. Uh, we've got Light Strike and Light Strike Pros. There's a little bit of a, a, a puck, let's call it, uh, a placement of Light Strike Pro here under the foot, but the rest of it's normal Light Strike, which is EVA foam. We've got a 50% recycled uh, mesh upper. Uh, we've got a thing at the back here, which is pointless. Um, we've got a non-gusseted tongue, which is a little bit annoying. I'll come on to that. We've got a rubber outsole, which is pretty good. Got to give it kudos for the rubber outsole. Um, 10 mil drop, I said. Now, I wrote it down somewhere. Weight, 267 grams, 9.4 ounces. So, super light is questionable. And what else? Oh, it doesn't fit true to size. Um, I'm a UK 9.5, and, and this is snug. There's not a hell of a lot of room in the toe box, people. So, watch your sizing on the shoe. It's 110 pounds uh, on Start Fitness, but by using the code Fully Runs, you can get 10% off, and I don't earn a penny from that. Um, and you can get 10% off, like I say, using the code Fully Runs at startfitness.co.uk, so you can get these reduced down from 110 pounds. Right, okay, so Adi Zero line is their racing line from Adidas. So, like as I said, Adi Zero, Adios Pro 3, Adi Zero Prime Strung, um, and this fits below the Adios Pro 3, I think. Um, it's a up-tempo daily trainer-ish to a degree, but it's meant to be there for those days where you don't want to put on the Adios Pro 3. So there's no carbon plate in the shoe. This is pure EVA here, but we've got the two different makeups of the EVA. We've got the Light Strike here, which is a firm ride, people. Just be aware, this is a firm ride. But then you've got in here, to help with that toe off and to give you that little bit of propulsion from that toe strike as you move through your, your foot, um, your transition, you've got Light Strike Pro, which is the, the sort of pimped up version of Light Strike that you find in the racing shoes. So like the Adios Pro 3, for example. Um, what else do you need to know? That's probably about it in terms of where the shoe's at and the, and the range and what it's there for and the, the midsole. Okay, so 25 plus miles in the shoe this week. I uh, had to hold off the review because of the snow over here in the UK, so we've finally been able to get it out and review it, which is good news. So, yeah, over 25 miles in the shoe this week, which is good news. Uh, where do we start? Okay, so things I like. Firstly, <laughs> it's just bad, but I like the colourway. <laughs> <laughs> they should rate a shoe on colourway because uh, it's just, just pointless. But I really like this colourway. Let me know in the comments if you like this colourway. The other colourways, they don't look so great. The blue looks really cheap. Um, but I really like this colourway. But that's, that's a bad thing to open. <laughs> Things I like with. <laughs> okay, second thing I like is the outsole. Outsole's great, actually. It's been really slippery over here in the UK. Uh, it's been wet where the snow's uh, melted and all that sort of stuff. And the outsole has been great. I like the upper. Although it's probably quite warm in the summer, I like the upper at the moment, really do. I like the lacing uh, at the moment. I like the amount of uh, foam around the heel. It's comfortable. I like that as well. Um, what else, what else, what else? That's probably about it in terms of likes. Actually, another plus point is the price. I think £110 with the discount is actually not that bad. Um, I'll come on to some <laughs> slight negatives in a minute. But if you look at it objectively, £110 reduced down is probably a good value. Okay, so things I don't like. Um, 
I don't particularly like the setup of the shoe. It's quite firm. Now, I don't mind a firm ride, but this is overly firm. What I would say, right, and as a caveat to all of this, and I think with some of the reviews out there as well, myself included, I think it's worth revisiting this shoe when it's done over 50 miles, probably more towards 100 miles, because this light strike does soften up over time, okay? So just a bit of a caveat, if you're, if you're seeing people like myself and other reviewers saying, oh, it's really firm, really firm, it will come to you a little bit, the light strike, okay? So just as a bit of a caveat, but it is a firm ride. So for me, that's something I don't particularly like straight out of the box. Um, I don't particularly feel like I'm doing anything amazing in it. It doesn't make me feel awesome. The Light Strike Pro, yes, you can feel it slightly, but no, it's not really doing a hell of a lot for me in terms of performance and how I feel running fast in the shoe. I don't like the sizing. Like I said, uh, it feels too snug in the toe box for me. It's just uh, really, really snug. I don't like the fact it's not got a gusseted tongue. It's a nightmare, this tongue. It's always sticking out and it's just a pain in the rear end to put on. Uh, I don't like that. I just think it's pointless. Um, but yeah, I just uh, some of the fitment of it, uh, the fitting of it, it's just, it's just awful. I also have a problem with this shoe because I don't see the point of it. I think if Adidas uh, wanted to put a shoe into the Adi Zero line, that they wanted a, a really sort of um, up-tempo daily train, I think they should have looked for a, a softer, more responsive um, midsole to put into it or give it, give it something a little bit more snap than just sticking a little bit of Light Strike Pro here. I don't think it's hit the mark in terms of what they were trying to do. I appreciate the fact that they're trying to find uh, a place in terms of people's budget with the shoe. But it just it just doesn't give anything. You wouldn't want to take this to a track, for example, and try and put in some 400 meter repeats because you'd just be better off in something else. And that actually leads me on to the biggest problem I've got with the shoe. I just don't see the point of it. Um, I think you're better off going on to startfitness.co.uk and like getting a Takumi Sen for the same sort of money because they got that on discount, or getting the Puma Deviate Nitro Elite for the same sort of money. Again, because at Start Fitness, they've got so many shoes on discount at the moment. Like, okay, you could argue some of them are last year's models. But there's plenty of shoes on startfitness.co.uk and other websites that are probably just as expensive as this, but do a better job. So I think that's the thing with it. I wouldn't say it's like terrible. I think that's a strong word. Um, I just don't really see the point of it after, after running in it this week. It's... If it was like feeling like the Rebel 3 from New Balance, I'd go, okay, that makes sense. Or it was feeling a little bit more like the Takumi Sen from Adidas. But I'd rather be in the Takumi Sen over a 5K than, than this. Okay, you could argue you can't use that for like more daily miles. But I don't know. I think they just missed the trick. It's a little bit out this is from where it needs to be. Adidas need to put in a really good daily trainer. And they also need to put in a really good sort of, yeah, tempo shoe that you can also use as a daily trainer. So, like, think of the Skechers Razor 4, for example, another good uh, option in this space. So, although this is, this is not overly bad, it is a firm ride, but I do think, as a caveat to that, this will soften up over time. So, just as a, you know, a bit of a heads up on that, I don't think you can criticise it for being firm yet, um, with only 20, over 25 miles on it, because it will come to you. But it's just, I don't know. It's just missing that secret sauce. It's just missing that, yeah, that making you feel awesome, which I want out of a tempo shoe. So for me, the Adidas Super Light, which isn't that light, is not um, overly brilliant. I don't think it's a bad shoe. Um, I think, you know, you need to give Adidas some kudos for putting something in, trying to put something in the Adi Zero line that gives, you know, everyday runners a little bit of a, a, a access to that lineup because maybe you can't afford the premium shoes, but yeah, I don't know. I just think, like I said, you go and start fitness to code at UK. There's other shoes at this price point that probably do a better job than this. I'm excited though, just as I turn the video, to see what Adidas do with this line of shoe. Um, I think the next incarnation will hopefully be a little bit better and a little bit more, well, awesome than this.